We started the year with a bang, like literally. Then life banged us. <laughs> <laughs> life literally banged us. I almost died, guys, but I'm alive. I thank God for my life. I got hit by a truck. Well, my car got hit by a truck and crashed and squeezed me into a barrier. If there was no barrier, I would have fell off the bridge and died. So I just thank God for my life. And um, this year has just been a reminder that um, we don't know our tomorrow. And um, we just need to live our best lives. We need to do stuff that make us happy. And sitting here speaking to you guys is one of the things that genuinely make me happy and um, we just decided today that you know what we actually missed doing this so we should sit here and do the video and have fun they're a little preachy hmm? that got a little preachy <sighs> i know this video okay this video isn't even actually about us speaking but it just like took a lift but anywho for those that do not know us my name is Sangiwe Jensen I'm Robata Jensen I'm Robata Jensen Sangiwe Mohmata 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 Jensen yes that is me this is my husband Zachary Jensen we do a whole lot I cook uh, my husband and I have fun. I do vlogs. Um, <laughs> we do so much. Well, I'm telling people that are new. So if you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and check out our other videos. Can you see the dog on this? Uh, no. You can't? Mm -hmm. Like nothing at all? Looking at you like what you're doing. Anyway. Okay, guys. So, anywho, um, this video is a video where Zach will be trying um, South African popular ciders. Uh, or what? Why are they in quotations? Because there's a lot of popular ciders in South Africa, but we just trying three of them. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. I went to Miami in December with the girls. It was a girls trip. We had an uh, amazing time. Zach couldn't come because he, because he wasn't invited. Leon! It's okay. It's okay. Leon, come. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Leon, Leon, Leon. It's just a lady. A ja it's just a lady. You want to say giant lady? No, I said it's just. I was saying right. just. Oh. Just. 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 Okay. It's okay. Okay, Leon. When you're ready, we'll be ready. What is now? Over oh, here. Okay, Zach. Tell the truth. Why didn't Why didn't you come to Miami? Leon, you're honestly ruining the video. 
Oh my gosh. It smells like death. Leon. She scared the shit out of him. Honestly, did he have a fudge? I think it's gone. Did you smell it? <laughs> okay, I didn't come because I didn't have time. Okay, so guys, while I was in Miami, we found a South African store. Um, we got there. <laughs> we found a South African store while we were in Miami. I will. Um, I took a video kind of like a vlog of the day, like going to the store. And I will include it in this video. And then after you guys see the store, you guys will watch Zach trying the solid ciders. And he has to rate and tell us what he thinks. We'll be back in two seconds. And it took us about 40 minutes to get to the store and when I walked in it felt like I was walking into heaven because this is my first time I actually walk into a store that sells South African products and just seeing strictly South African stuff if you are in my position you'll understand where I was coming from and they had everything that um well not everything but most of the things that you can think of or the things that like we use every day like um your rice uh mayonnaise acha all the cooking stuff all the sauces they had chakalaka they had peanut butter they even had the handy andy they had cremora they had five roses matabella oh my gosh i loved matabella when i was young and it was my dad's favorite so i obviously had to get it um they had all my favorite um biscuits they had tennis biscuits they had uh roman romans or roman creams whatever they are they had wheat bakes. I obviously had to get wheat bakes. Wheat bakes is one of my favorites. Um, I also like cornflakes, but we have cornflakes in our store, so I didn't have to get that there. I wish I could have gotten everything here, but obviously they're quite expensive because the stuff obviously shipped from uh, South Africa to here, so they're quite um, on the high end of prices. And last but not least they had uh, all the south african beverages honey your savannah benini uh, all the beers kasalaga and all of that it was actually very nice to see that they they had all of that and then they had pies i had a paper steak pie it was so good after so many years and back there they also um have like a restaurant where they sell uh, I think they sell like Birovos rolls and whatnot. And then they also had this um, Biltong station where um, you can taste the Biltong before you get it. Then they had like um, spicy, you can like choose whatever um, spice you wanted. So it was really, really, really nice to be here. I recommend that if you guys go to Miami, do stop by. Cider number one. 
Which one do you want to do? I'm going to do claps for which one we're on, so number two will be two claps. Did I do I did I do it, Cloud? Yeah. <laughs> which one I'll try first? I don't know, whichever one's closer. Okay, so you're gonna try it and then you're gonna rate it. So we are going for the Benini Bash. Pink. So this is like, there's another Benini that is more popular than this one, but unfortunately this is the only Benini they had, so I guess Zach will be trying this Benini. Benini? Mm -hmm. Do you want to like, read what it is or whatever? A delicate natural grape taste. Isn't cider supposed to be like apples? No, which I don't understand why all ciders in America are like soup. Apple. Apple. Apple cider. That one's a little flowery. Tastes flowery? Yeah. It's fine. I would never be like, ah, give me one of those. You wouldn't drink it. So one I mean, day, like, one I, day when you go to South Africa, you're not going to pick this at the store. Yeah, probably not. Okay, out of 10, what do you rate it? Six. Six out of, oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, Benini, we see you. Okay, and then Savannah. This is, this is South Africa's favorite cider. Like, everybody loves this cider. I don't know why. I'm not gonna say anything yet until Zach tries it. But this is the most bought cider in South Africa. You have the numbers? Hmm? You have the numbers? It's it's like very obvious. It's very obvious. You don't even have to go on Google. It's kinda better. It's bitter? Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? It tastes like Barely like a like a slight hint of apple, and then like the aftertaste is like very tart and a little bitter. Like apple? I don't even know what savanna is made with. Like I don't know the ingredients. You saying you taste apple? Yeah. Premium cider. Oh, oh cider is supposed to be apple. They are. I didn't even know that. Let me see savanna ingredients. Alcohol abuse is dangerous to your health. <laughs> Pretty sure it's apple. Savannah cider ingredients. Oh yeah, it's fermented apple juice, sugar, apple juice concentrate, citric acid, apple juice concentrate. Oh, I didn't even know. Five out of ten. Five out of ten? Oh, <gasps> Zach rated South African favorite. Well, to be honest with you guys, I don't like Savannah as well that much. I don't understand why people really, really like it. I, I need to understand. Please comment below and tell us. Do you, and do you, are you part of the people that hype the savannah or not and why? Okay, last but not least, Hunter's Gold. So with this, there's like two different um, Hunters. There's like a Hunter's Dry, I think, and a Hunter's Gold. Mostly people would go for the Hunter's Dry because they say this is um, more sweeter. Let's see what Zach thinks. That one kind of tastes like apple juice. It tastes like apple juice? I wonder what is it? Let me see the ingredients. Are all ciders ingredients? normally made out of apples unless they said otherwise? Apple. Water, fermented apple juice, sucrose, apple juice, concentrate, citric acid. I guess I want a 7 out of 10. 7? Okay, so this is 7, then the Benini was 6, and then Savannah was 5. Savannah's lost in the least. Savannah sucks. 
<laughs> okay guys this was a very short but sweet video we hope you guys enjoyed it um, and we're just like happy to come back and um, be in front of the camera because we've missed you guys a lot as I mentioned before I know I talk a lot understatement <laughs> <laughs> I, I would talk the whole day if I had to. And Zach does not talk. Zach just like throws in a line. Like this is how our relationship is. I do all the talking. And then he would throw in a line. But he's funny and then I just blab a lot but he makes jokes. Yeah. Quality over quantity. <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching our video we had somewhat fun tasting ciders okay we had fun tasting ciders don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell we'll see you next time bye